One Iceland company believes its technology can go a long way towards saving tomorrow. The solution, quite literally sucking carbon dioxide out of the sky. Does it work and can it be scaled up in a big enough way to help put an end to the climate crisis? Our Ginger Z traveled to Iceland to find out. Iceland, not only a wondrous nation with so much to offer, but also almost 100% powered by renewables. And in a remote area just 20 miles southeast of the country's capital, Reykjavik, you'll find Helisadi, the largest geothermal power plant in Iceland. So we are standing here in the mossy lava fields, which is actually a volcano. And so we are harnessing the heat from the underground to produce electricity. Part of that emissions-free electricity now powers another nearby climate change fighting machine. Meet Climeworks's Orca, Icelandic for energy. It's the largest direct air carbon capture facility in the world, and it just opened in September. Its giant fans and filters can remove 4,000 tons of CO2 every year. It's all part of a joint project with Iceland's CarbFix, the two companies working together to clean the atmosphere by taking CO2 from the air and turning it into stone. There's no magic. It's a natural process mm -hmm. and very environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. And it turns the CO2 into stone, uh, like 95% turns into stone in less than two years. So it mineralizes on the stone and then the water is left for the regular reserve. Yeah. The largest quantities of carbon on Earth are already stored in the bedrock underneath us, in minerals and so forth. So what we did was find a way to sort of imitate and speed up this process using science and innovation. And really, Iceland is the ideal place to do this because all of this is being run. If we were running this with coal-fired electricity, it would be so yeah. backward. Yeah, yeah. But this is by geothermal energy. This is energy. geothermal energy. It's renewable energy. And uh, we are here next to the uh, Hedlis the geothermal power plant of ON. And they provide us with the heat and the electricity, renewable electricity that we need. We humans put out nearly 40 billion tons of CO2 just this year, so taking out 4,000 tons is really just a drop in the bucket. They do want to scale this up fast, and here's how it works. Once the carbon is captured, you see those gray pipelines? It is mixed with water, kind of a fizzy water, that travels through those pipes and into these igloo-like structures. Now, once inside the igloo, it is injected a half a mile beneath the Earth's surface. This is a more or less an oversized soda stream machine. It makes carbonated water and this is what we inject into the bedrock. The carbonated water is pumped into the ground. There, it's released into the volcanic basalt rock. It mineralizes in less than two years. Both companies say what happens in Iceland does not have to stay in Iceland. We're getting more and more interest, and we are speaking of scaling this up to millions and hundreds of millions and eventually billions of tons over the next 30 years. At that scale, it could make a huge dent in the rapid warming of our planet. A number of, of technologies that we have to bring to scale rapidly, but the good news is that those technologies exist, so we have to get to work and do it. Fascinating technology there, our thanks to Ginger Z. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.